Since the beginning of the millennium, the long history of coal mining in industrial Cape Breton is now mostly a memory. What it leaves behind is a complex and massive network of abandoned mines. Today's excursion is a bit of a twist. The building we are exploring isn't abandoned, but is there because of what's abandoned beneath it. This is the mine water treatment plant in New Victoria. The water treatment plant was completed in 2012 at a cost of $12.5 million and treats up to 450 gallons of water per minute, which amounts to this small brook of water leaving the facility. The plant pumps water from a few groups of mines located under New Waterford and Sydney mines that have been inactive for decades. The mines that feed the plant are Princess and Florence Collieries, Queen Pit, all from Sydney mines, and Collieries 12 and 16 in the Waterford. If you're like me, perhaps your father, uncle, grandfather, maybe once worked in one of these mines. When active pumping operations discontinued, mines begin filling with water. The water levels were monitored and predicted to reach the surface sometime in 2013. Mine water is contaminated by the exposure to microscopic metals found in rock formations and is also highly acidic. When a mine is filled, the contaminated water, sometimes called copperous water, would overflow into the environment and it likes to turn things a little bit, well, orange. Gone are the days when this type of environmental negligence is acceptable, hence the need for the water treatment plant. So I'm not going to get into mine water hydraulics, it's too complex for me, but I can tell you how this plant works on a basic level. The plant itself is a high density sludge system, or HDS. Again, keeping it simple, it has two types of treatment one active and one passive. The main building houses filter and clarifying tanks. They use hydrated lime to raise the pH and promote precipitation of the dissolved metals in the water. The precipitated metals are then collected as a solid and are disposed of in an on-site containment area. After active treatment, mine water is then directed to the passive phase which is nothing more than a settling pond and wetland before being reintroduced into Sydney Harbour. Letting nature do its thing is a brilliant and effective finishing touch. And it's easy to see the process at work. And that was a quick look at the mine water treatment plant in New Victoria. Where will I go next on this beautiful island known for its stunning landscapes and rich history? Do you know of any abandoned sites you'd like to visit with me? Let me know in the comments and hit that like and subscribe. Join me next time as we embark on a journey to uncover the mysteries hidden within abandoned Cape Breton.